Welcome back to Science Class. Today we're conducting a simple experiment to investigate osmosis, the movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential through a partially permeable membrane. Today's experiment is actually based on a question from a grade 10 exam. Here's what it looked like. Figure 4.1 shows an experiment done by some grade 10 learners. Two potato slices of the same size were placed into two different beakers. Beaker A was filled with distilled water and beaker B was filled with a concentrated salt solution. The experiment was left for about three hours. The questions that followed were A. Describe what happened to the size of the potato in beakers A and B. B. Explain what causes these changes. C. Suggest what happened to the level of water in beaker A. D. Name the process that has taken place in this experiment. And E. State two significances of this process in organisms. We'll answer these questions through our own experiment. For this, we need a potato, distilled water or tap water, salt, two beakers or clear containers, a knife and cutting board, a ruler, and a timer. Let's get started. First, we'll prepare our potato samples. It's important to cut them into equal-sized pieces to ensure a fair comparison. I've already prepped two here. Next, we'll take our initial measurements of length, width, and height of our samples. The initial measurements are as follows. The length, width, and height of potato A was 35 millimeters, 15 millimeters, and 9 millimeters, respectively, and for potato B, the length, width, and height measured as 35 millimeters, 13 millimeters, and 10 millimeters. Next, we'll label the glasses as A and B. and add water to both glasses. Then we add salt to the glass labeled B and stir. Now, we'll place the potato pieces into the two different solutions. The first potato goes into the glass labeled A, and the second goes into the glass labeled B. We'll leave them in the solutions for about three hours, which should be enough time to observe the effects of osmosis. Three hours later. All right, the time is up. Let's see what happened to our potato pieces. Now, let's measure the potato pieces again and compare the initial and final dimensions.
Potato A measured at a length of 39 millimeters, width of 16 millimeters, and height of 11 millimeters, indicating an increase in size. And potato B measured at a length of 33 millimeters, width of 12 millimeters, and height of 8 millimeters, indicating a decrease in size. Now, let's answer those exam questions based on our results. A. Describe what happened to the size of the potato in beakers A and B. The potato in beaker A increased in size, while the potato in beaker B decreased in size. B. Explain what causes these changes. These changes are caused by a difference in water potential between the potato and the liquid in the beaker. In beaker A, there is a higher water potential in the distilled water and a lower water potential in the potato. So, water moved into the potato by osmosis. In beaker B, there is a higher water potential inside the potato and a lower water potential in the concentrated salt solution, therefore water moves out of the potato by osmosis. C. Suggest what happened to the level of water in beaker A. The level of water in beaker A likely decreased slightly as water entered the potato cells. D. Name the process that has taken place in this experiment. The process that has taken place is osmosis. E. State two significances of this process in organisms. Significances of osmosis in organisms include maintaining cell turgor pressure, helping root hair cells of plants absorb water from the soil, movement of water from root hair cells to palisade cells in the leaf for photosynthesis and regulating hydration levels. And that's how you can visually and practically demonstrate and understand the process of osmosis using a simple potato experiment. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun science experiments. Got any questions or experiment suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson.